Hi everyone, I'm Scott Davenport, and welcome to Mastering Light and Shadow with On One Photo. At the end of this course, you'll have all the knowledge you need to control light and shadow tones in your photos and create strong, compelling images. Now we've all heard it before, right? Photography is light, and that's true. And often that's the difference between a good photo and a great photo. The interaction of light and shadow is what makes great, strong, compelling images. And the creative use of light and shadow lets you tell a stronger photo story. Now, On One Photo has all of the tools that we need to control light and shadow and make these types of compelling photos. And I've broken this course into four segments, concepts, tools, techniques, and end-to-end -end examples. In the first section, we'll talk about concepts. We want to build a strong foundation for understanding how to interpret the light and the shadow that we have in our images. We'll talk about the histogram, the distribution of light and shadow. We'll talk about the zone system, which is a way to segment your photo into different ranges of shadow and light. We'll talk about blending modes and blending options as a feature of on one photo. Masking as well, we can control where certain types of shadow or light effects are applied. We'll also talk about luminosity mask, which is a special type of mask. The next section of the course is about the tools we have in On One Photo. We're going to cover the masking tools, both the brushes and the gradients. Now, in the concept section, we'll talk about masking, but really, what is a mask and what does it do for us? In the tools section, we'll talk about how to create those masks and how to refine them. We'll also talk about curves. Curves is another control that we have and a tool that we have to shape the light in our images. And finally, we'll talk about the blending options. These are extra special things. This is really a great feature of On One Photo and especially useful for controlling light and shadow. So you can really fine tune the type of look that you're going for. In the third part of the course, we cover technique. Now this is where we take our concepts, our fundamental understanding of light and shadow, and the tools, how do we control light and shadow, and put them together. We'll use targeted examples, and we'll go through the classic dodging and burning, and there are a bunch of different ways to do dodging and burning. We'll also go through blending options, some practical examples on when to use those, and how they help us control light and shadow, and also luminosity masks. And this is also where you start to get creative, and you realize you can combine several of the concepts and the tools together to get precise looks and moods for your photos. And finally, the course wraps up with several examples. This is where we bring it all together, concept, tools, and techniques. We'll take several photos that have had their basic processing already done, and then take the next steps of crafting and shaping light and shadow to make them stronger, more compelling photos. Now, I'm a big believer in not only how to do something, but understanding why we do it. So as I go through the processing of those, I'll be explaining not only how to accomplish a certain look, but why I'm choosing to change or control light and shadow in each situation. One more thing. Shaping light and shadow in your photos takes time and it takes deliberate thought. So you know, detailed masking or intricate dodging and burning, these aren't things we're going to do on every one of our photos. It's for the select few, those very special photos, you know, the kind that you kind of know when you've got one in your library. So with that, let's get started. 